and alongside turn. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. I'll speak and turn before refuge. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. And turn, the definition for turn is to move something that is in a different position in relation to its surrounding or its previous position. Praise God. And as I read 2 Chronicles verse 7 to 14, it spoke about turn. Hallelujah. Praise God. And Nehemiah 1 verse 9 to 11, it says, but if you turn unto me and keep my commandments and do them, though there were not you cast out of unto the uttermost part of heaven, yet will I gather them from thence and will bring them unto the place that I have chosen to set my name there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And now these are thy servant and thy people whom has redeemed by thy great power and by thy strong hand. O Lord, I beseech thee, let now thine ear be attentive to the prayer of thy servant and the prayer of thy servant who desire to fear thy name and prosper, I pray thee, thy servant this day, and grant him mercy in the sight of man. For I was the king's cupbearer. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. You know, saints of God, 30 years ago, I wasn't a Christian. But I was a God-fearing person because my parents, they would, you know, taught us to love God, you know, to read our Bibles and to pray. But I wasn't a strong, you know, believer, but I fear God. Praise God. Now I grew up in this community in St. Elizabeth, where this community is known for a farming community. But what do we farm? Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. We would farm marijuana, weed, ganja. Hallelujah. Praise God. You know, that was the only source of living we have there. There wasn't any factories, any great estate, anything of such. It's just farming weed. Hallelujah. But saints of God, farming weed is not the right way for me. You know, but that was the only choice at that time. Praise God. I grew up and I would saw my parents, my grandparents and great, parents, grand, great grandparents doing the same thing. So I decided that, you know, while I was doing it, I said to myself that I have to make a change. I have to turn. I have to turn. And when I do turn, I hope that others will see and make that choice. Hallelujah. So I tend to push myself away from, you know, farming weed. Because what I realized, Sir Pearson, is most of our young ladies, some of them then, that are in the community, they do the same thing. And all they do is just to get pregnant. And the, the male, they would just continue to farm. So there is no way to elevate themselves because they just believe that this is what I have to do until I get old. Praise God. But the devil is a liar. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In the sense of God, you know, it wasn't easy to turn from the only source of living, knowing that you didn't have 
You didn't really believe that God could actually took you from what you were going through. Hallelujah. There wasn't anyone in such to motivate me, to push me, to say, you know, Brother Cook, you need to turn and to give your life to God because he is our deliverer. Hallelujah. I have to try to find God for myself. Hallelujah. It wasn't easy. Praise God. Hallelujah. Finally, saints of God, I, you know, decide that I have to make a transition. So I moved from that community. And I got, my, got a job in Clarendon. And I was promoted to a farm manager, a farm assistant manager, where we cultivate oranges and sugar cane. Praise God. Hallelujah. No, I wasn't a Christian, but God elevated me from planting weed to now become an assistant farm manager. God is good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So it doesn't matter what we are going through. If we believe that there is a God, if we believe and hold him and say, God, help me. He will definitely develop us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now, saints of God, I, you know, thought it was easy going in the working world. But it wasn't easy. Because you just come from a country and you become an assistant farm manager. You know, people are going to make nice and say things. But I keep praying. And I said, God, I'm asking for your guidance and your protection. Just help me. But one of the things that I strongly believe, it doesn't matter who you are, as long as you believe in God, whether you are a Christian or not, if God wants you to reach somewhere in this world, there's no one or nothing can stop you. It's just for you to believe, hallelujah, and to just to turn Turn from everything that you're doing and just put God first. I can imagine if I was a Christian at my, in my life from, you know, during the time of age 30, where would I be? But, you know, saints of God, our timing is not God's timing. So this is the perfect time for me. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Help me, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You know, saints of God, I got redundant from Clarendon, where the condition of the living and the working condition, they, didn't pay, they weren't paying us enough money. And now, you know, once you start work, you're going to have whole heap of bills and whole heap of things that you want to do. But I didn't get, I weren't getting enough money to do what I want to do. And then I have to work like so hard without getting paid. So I decided that, you know, may I go back to the country, go plant some weed, you know. Hallelujah. The devil is a liar. Praise God. You know, I close my eyes. Not knowing where I'm going, but I'm going. Because there was something strong within me saying that you need to go. But go where? I have no idea. And saints of God, I made the move. You know, sometimes we're stubborn, you know. Sometimes we were very disobedient. And when God said something, when God said move this, don't move something else. Just move what he says. Because you will get in trouble. And God said, just move. Just move. And I did. And, you know, when I came, to, came back to St. Elizabeth, and I was telling my sister about, you know, what is happening and all of that. And she said to me that there is a vacancy by Upperton Estate. And, you know, you can apply. Because I already, would already have the experience about the job. And I applied and I did an interview. And when I did the interview since, praise God, 
If after the interview finish, the manager of the farm said, I must report to work tomorrow. Hallelujah. So saints of God, I close my eyes, not knowing where I'm, go where I'm going. But I can tell you this. I can tell you this, that God have plans. You might reach to a crossroad where you don't know where you're going because there are so many different roads. But just follow the instruction of God. He will carry you through. Hallelujah. And when I start to work as a supervisor there, you know, there was a lot of elders and persons that are more eloquent and more, you know, have more education than I am. You know, you have person would have said things and all of that. But I didn't allow that to stop me. I keep to push. Because I tell myself that I want to make a difference. And I will turn from the things that I used to do. I promise myself that I won't go back and plant any more weed. I need to do something different. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now, sense of God, when... When I was there, now employing, settled down in the job. I start make some money. So I can able to pay bills and no I can rent an apartment. Praise God. Hallelujah. But you know, sometimes when God bless you, sometimes we get some blessings, Sir Monty, and you don't know what to do. And if you don't have God in control, you just be a foolish. Hallelujah. And you know, God started to bless me. But when I think, one, one thing that I remember that my parents taught me that I should be respectable, manageable, caring, loving, and to be kind. So even though I, you know, making a lot of money there, I tend to help a lot of persons. I'm doing it because I see the need of person need help. And I did it. Saints of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You know, I got carried away. Because me, I make too much money. So I start to beer foolish. Saints of God. I start by beer clocks. Be a name brand shoes. Be a near brand pants. All the things where you can't think of. I start partying. Money pull up a dance. Wasting the money. Hallelujah. Because I believe that, you know, if we waste $50,000 now, by tomorrow, I can make back that $50,000. Hallelujah. And I keep doing the, the stupidness. We don't know nobody there to influence me, said Brother Coke. You need to put your money to use. You can't just do in this, Sister Pat. Hallelujah. You know, and I continue to do it, do it, do it. You know, we start go out. Hot boy in the street now. Got me I make money. Yes. Mr. Hustle. Yes. So hustle turn up. So everybody at the department now start pre me or watch me. And I say, oh, yeah, make so much money and you just start work. And then start, you know, watch me more and more. I used to ride bicycle. And then I bought a bike and I start ride. And from the day I bought that bike, Everybody start watching and say, no man. The little money where you get can't buy no bike. Hallelujah. But I didn't stop there. I continued to do my thing because that's what the devil do, you know. He put the things in your mind for you to enjoy. But it's the wrong thing to enjoy. So I'll do it all the time. I didn't, you know, person no one then will invite me to church and said, you need to come to church to give a visit or stuff. I didn't really have God that close. So I tend to, you know, continue to do my thing. But I still was a God-fearing person. So even though I was still doing my wrong, Brother P, I still pray. I mean, I say, God, then how am I doing this wrong? And you still bless me with so much. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 And you know, sense of God, five years doing my journey at the Appleton Estate. Because of the whole flossing and the whole partying and stuff. They decide that they suspect me as a 
thief. No proof. But they said, based on my pay, I could have achieved certain things. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you know, sense of God, they, they, they redundant me and they give me about $55,000. Now, remember, $55,000 would be like a chump change. Because me no used to that, they look for money there. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But I believe that God was teaching me a lesson that I must continue to be humble. And whatever he bless you with, you must put it in other use or to help others. I didn't listen. And I got redundant, sir. And hallelujah. I didn't know what to do. I can't pay my rent anymore because every money that was in my account is gone. I can't pay my rent. I can't look after my children anymore. So that pushed my back against the wall where now I have to start to seek God more. And we can't tell you these saints. I'm a living testimony. Praise God. God, when God have a plan for you, he will do anything in his power. Praise God. Hallelujah. To get your attention. Praise God. And I believe that that is one of the things that he does. He put my back against the wall where I have nobody to cry out to except God Almighty. Yet still, I wasn't a Christian, but I'm getting there. Hallelujah. Praise God, because I believe, you know, as the word of God said, if you have faith as a mustard seed, as small as a mustard seed, you can move mountain. And I believe in that verse strongly. Hallelujah. And I start to gather faith and say, God, if you provide for me, I will change my ways. Yes, when you're in our position where you feel like I are alone, if you just believe that God is able, He will see you through. And no matter how my prayer, sir, P, my prayer, my prayer, I say, God, help me. There was nothing coming. There was nothing, nothing happening. And I said, why? Sometimes I feel like you just give up. Because we all know when you're, your child or your children start to cry on you. And said, I need some tea or I need food. You know, you as a parent or a father especially. You will do anything in your power to ensure that you feed your family. Praise God. But God didn't allow me to go in the wrongdoing this time. The little he put in me is to, you know, try to do something on my own. I start raise two chicken. I start sell two slippers and two dress and something. But that didn't work. So I start to construction work now where, sir, is it first I'm doing construction? I don't know nothing. Hallelujah. I didn't know anything about construction work. And I keep doing because I believe that my family need to be fed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And you see, I'm saying to myself then, if the little that God bless me with, no, I, I, was unable, I was able to look after my family. Hallelujah. But then when I was wasting my time, you know, hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 And I keep praying and I said, God, continue to help me because I need to reach somewhere with you, God. As I said, I didn't know where I'm going. Same way. But I keep praying. And I remember, I can't pay my rent anymore. And the landlord decided that I have to move. Help me, Jesus. Hallelujah. When, he, when, she, when they told me that I have to move, I don't know where I'm going. And there was this lady. She said to me that, you know, there's a house up the road, and they need somebody to stay there. Nice house, you know. They just want somebody to stay there, to look after the place, and to ensure that it's okay. A good thing said me, they know, for wash, cook, and clean. You know? <laughs> Praise God. 
And for some reason, I don't know what the lady have seen in me. But she said, I want you to be here. And Sir P, every morning I can remember, five o'clock, that lady was a New Testament faith. Every morning, five o'clock, that lady would come at my door and anoint that door and pray for me. Hallelujah. And he can, she continued to pray and said, God, bless him with a job. And I can tell you, saints, it's almost six months that she has been praying. And she pray and she pray and she pray. And nothing happening. I still, you know, at the house. Can't find no money to feed the family. I even started to get chatting that, you know, they're going to take me to court because me used to put in like... $30,000 or any amount of money to look after the children. Now, I could only come up with maybe two or $3,000. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 It's when God has his hand on you, saints of God. It's just for us to just to believe and just to have faith. I didn't give up, saints of God. Hallelujah. And I sent a resume here in St. James at the Cornell Regional Hospital. I'm getting there. Hallelujah. So help me, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that application was sent off. And almost one year, I haven't gotten a call. You know, I want to give up. I want to give up. Because remember, you know, I wasn't a Christian. I never know how to fast and how to empty myself to God. I didn't know that. Because if I knew then, where would I be? Hallelujah. But I still, you know, continue to say my little prayer. And they finally called me from St. James here. No, I was living in St. Elizabeth. And they said that I got the job and I must, you know, Come for an interview. Sense of God, I don't know where this feeling came from, but each and every one of us that are here, you, do you remember when we got the Holy Spirit? That feeling that you have inside of you, that was something that I felt. And I came here for the interview, and the following week, they, they said that I should report to work the Monday. No sense of God, no. It was a crossroad again, Sir P. Because I didn't know where I'm going. I didn't have anyone, any place to stay. I don't know what to do. But I tell myself that I am not giving up this job. And if me have a ride from St. Elizabeth, no work start at 8.30 and finish at 5.00. And if I should ride from St. Elizabeth to reach work on time, I am going to do that. That's the faith I have. And there was something inside that saying, don't give up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I didn't give up. I keep pressing on. No, saints of God, when I get here in St. James and I should report to work, Remember, there's nobody to put me up. And I start to call some of my family members that, you know, even if I stay in a coach, I know set him, I want to work, I mean, nah, I left. Everybody may call and say, Hallelujah. Then I have no space. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And, you know, I, I told myself that, you know, I'm going to travel back and forth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then God sent, do you remember the story when, I don't remember it correctly, when God sent the Janko to feed Elijah in the valley? I believe that I was one of that person. Hallelujah. Everybody, nobody know did it for me. And when I report to work, sir, there is this gentleman who said, uh, um, he saw me and I, you know, Put myself together and start work but doing the work there was so much pain in my face i don't know how the gentleman saw it sir p but he did 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I was there and I, you know, I said that I keep doing my work and he, I introduced myself to him and he showed me what to do and all of that. And saints of God, he said that, what is happening? Why are you looking like that? And I said, what do you mean, sir? And he said, you just look down and unhappy and stuff. And I said, I am okay, sir, but I totally stranger. Me can't just tell the man my business. Hallelujah. It's when God have planned for you, man. Just continue to praise him. Because everywhere you go, every crossword, there is somebody or something to take you to another destination. Hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And you know, saints of God, the gentleman said, don't worry. Oh, God. In my own words, sir, may I say, in myself, say, this man come like a madman. A man, I go tell me, say, me not to worry. When me stress out, when me back against the wall, when me pick them a call, me I say, they want this. When me have things to do, you are going to tell me if you no worry? Hallelujah. No sense of God. He took me to a little place at the warehouse. It was a warehouse. And he showed me a little room. When me lay down on the bed, sir, me put them jump off. Half I bed. But I was so grateful. And I was so happy. And sir, I, I, I don't know where the joy came from. But I feel so overwhelming. And I said, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And he didn't know what he'd have done for me. But I was really, really appreciate it. And I can tell you, if it wasn't for him... Or if it wasn't for Jesus Christ on my side, where would I be? God have put that man in place so that I can reach here today. Hallelujah. Praise God. And since I've got to me to know how to clean and fix up my place, I start get two pieces of curtain and look at something and clean up. And so when you're going to the room, Sir Monty, there were so many webs cobweb, I'll crab in my room. Hallelujah. Praise God. When I start to clean, sir, there were so many dusts that could actually, you know, fill up your whole, your, your two hands. And I get down to business and I clean. And when the gentleman came back the following morning, he was in shock because he didn't believe that somebody could actually do this. I clean. Hallelujah. And I said, you know, there is this thing in me saying that I should just, if I have blessed you in so many ways, just turn your ways. Just turn to me and I will deliver you. And I keep to see God more and more and more. Even though I wasn't a Christian, but I keep praying. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. No, when I got the job, sir, I was getting like $13,000 a fortnight. Remember, you know, I have two pitney. No, if you can't do the maths, $13,000. I couldn't afford it. So when I got paid, I would send up $12,000 for the child, for the children. 61 and 60 other. May only have a thousand dollar leave. Me no know how it go go. Me no know how me go manage because every fortnight they get paid. Oh God, Hallelujah, Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. And you know, saints of God, no, my back was still against the wall. I didn't know what to do with a thousand dollar. Because if you buy, remember me, I have to provide for myself. Me have to buy, me could not buy. The best thing, them like the mutton and the pork and the high meat. I have to flash out two thin mackerel or chicken back. I couldn't even buy chicken back because it's a thousand dollars. So I have to buy two thin mackerel and any little thing when I see in the place so I can get two hana banana and stuff like that. Praise God. Hallelujah. And I remember sense of God that 
we had a meeting at um, Conwell Regional Hospital. So the, I was introduced to our, the, the, the persons that are in charge. And saints of God, hallelujah. When I reached to a particular this, it's like something in me said stop. Hallelujah. And I stopped there. And I stopped. And the gentleman introduced me to my wife. No. Praise God. Hallelujah. Bitch. And Sir P, there was something saying that don't move. Stay there. And I'm talking don't like move. 2000 and about 15. When we say, you know, we have $1,000. And when I start, you know, take our fair number. Because I don't know something about her. But caught my attention and I start talk to her. But you know, when I started to talk to her, she she didn't seem interesting, sir. P. But I didn't give up. But I remember one at the time when she started talking some foolish. After me I pour out my heart, she had to tell me foolish. And I me kiss my teeth and walk away. And she run me down. And she said, hold on, man. And I hold on. And she said, she didn't mean it that way and whatever. Hallelujah. Saints of God. She's a blessing. Hallelujah. Because I remember from the day I met her, my life have turned. I have changed. Hallelujah. And I believe that it has to be God. Because God only gives you good gifts. Great gifts. God sent our man. There's no gift that God would give that is not useful. Saints of God. You know, we start talking. She know, I, you know, we start explaining her, my situation. And say I'm going to tell her. Have, even though I never want to tell her. She will carry around two pounds of flour and two pounds of rice. One pound of mixed parts. So now I start saying, no man, God, you is good. Because from nothing to something. Hallelujah. And she didn't, she didn't, let, me, she didn't let me go. She, we keep talking and she started encouraging me and said, boy, you know, I am a Christian and, you know, if we should, um, you know, start courting and all of that, you have to make a change. But I, I, I was already making some transition in my life before she get there. So I keep praying more and she would tell, tell me about, um, there's a church in West Green, born again, holiness, holiness, born again. And she told me about the church that you can visit. And I start to visit that church and the power of God moves. In that church, praise God. When I say men in service are men in charge, I remember that was the church. And that was one of the things that I said to myself, if I should give my life, I want to, you know, worship God like there's no life left. Praise God. And that was my inspiration when I started to go to that church. And I started to get to love God more because there was something about Jesus in that house of God. There was something there. And I held on to that. And I keep, you know, start to visit church every Sunday. And God start to bless me in so many other ways. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I find refuge in him. Hallelujah. And as Psalms 46 says, 1 to 2, praise God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And it says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Hallelujah. I was in so much trouble because who would know where would I be? Therefore, Will I not we fear though the earth to be removed? 
And though the mountain be carried into the midst of the sea. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No fear. No fear. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You are worthy, God. You are worthy. And in the sense of God, during the year that I was at the Western Regional, I worked there for one year. But I realized that it was not an hour make it. And if I go start quote my wife as a man, I start, me have to start provide. So I have to you know, seek God more. And there was a, a, a vacancy at the St. James Health Department as a security officer. I didn't know that she applied for me. But as we say, yes, when God have their hands, have his hand on you, nothing or nobody can change it. Hallelujah. And she sent in the, the application and they called me for an interview. Sense of God, I knew that I got that job. Because before I went, I prayed and said, God, I want you to bless me with this job because you see the needs. You see what I want to do. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You know, they called me and said I must come, to, come for an interview. And I went there for an, an interview. And I was so comfortable. And every question that they asked, I would, you know, give them an answer. And the, I think it's the following week they said that I must come in. Sir Monty, remember I was getting $13,000. And from $13,000 to $55,000. And that was just the base, basic pay. I could make up to 100 and add 1000 Praise God. Hallelujah. Jesus. What a God we serve. Hallelujah. Saints of God, you know. I keep pressing on and I said, God, I have for you this. Because... From thirteen thousand dollar to almost a hundred grand, I have for you this. Remember, me not a Christian, you know, but me still a prayer. I mean, I said then, if I was a Christian, how much more would I get? Hallelujah! Praise God! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus! Thank you, Jesus! We all remember the story of Daniel. And Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar. You know, when there was three Hebrews boy that was sent there, I don't remember the story correctly, but what God have laid on my heart, I'm going to say it. Praise God. And I remember that he said, the king Nebuchadnezzar said, whenever time you hear the sound of the music, the chump, the, the zombie, and all of that. You must bow down and worship. Hallelujah. His image. But growing up, I didn't believe in any image. As Brother Henry Wood said, our God is not a God where you dust off, or where you put up in a corner, or where you, you know, is that a hollow or is not a Selassie? It's Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And there is only one God. You know, some person would say, boy, it's more than one God because some faith would, they would baptize their people in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. But that's wrong. It's one person because all of those are titles. He said the name of Jesus Christ. He didn't say the names of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise God. And Nebuchadnezzar, the, the Hebrew boys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, there was a man of God. There were men of God. They, they believed that there's a God and they hold on to their belief. So it didn't matter what Nebuchadnezzar said to them. They will not bow. It no matter what they do, they will not bow. And I strong holy too. Jesus Christ. 
if we are children of Christ, we should practice the same or do the same thing. We should not bow to this world because Jesus Christ is our savior. And if he deliver the three Hebrews boy from the fiery furnace, hallelujah. Anyone I know never cook, like cooks on soup or a boil some water and the steam, not even the steam yet, the pot cover burn you. Or even the steam burn you, how hot that is. Hallelujah. And you can imagine the fiery furnace where he, the, the Nebuchadnezzar sent one of his guard to turn up the fire, I think it's one point seven times hotter. God Almighty. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yo, sir, you're most dead. Hallelujah. And they, 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 they threw the three Hebrews boy in the fire. No, I, I read a part where they said that some of the guard were dead because of the fire, how hot the fire was. And saints of God, I believe that Meshach Shadrach and Abednego, they found refuge in God. And they believe that they're not going to give up. No matter what Nebuchadnezzar did, they will, they will not give up and they will not bow. Hallelujah. Praise God. And saints of God, I remember some passage in it said, when they, they cast them into the fire, and Nebuchadnezzar, I think, he, he, you know, he was looking in the fire and he said to himself that, to his guard, that how many persons did you throw into the fire? And the, the guard said it was three. Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. And Nebuchadnezzar said, no. There is four persons in the fire. Hallelujah. So I believe that from age 30, God was still at my side because he said in his word, I know you before you were formed in your mother's womb. God have a plan for me. God have a plan for us. So even if you are not a Christian, just believe that there is a God. Hallelujah. Don't give up. Don't give in because God is always there. Hallelujah. And saints of God, let me, let me see if I can find that. Scripture fast. Hallelujah. Praise God. Help me, Jesus. Help me, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Okay, so it's chapter 3, verse 25. I'm reading up to verse 30. And he answers and said, Lo, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurts. And the farm of the fort is like the son of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fire and furnace and spoke, spake and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, ye servants of the most high God. I didn't believe that Nebuchadnezzar was so much of a God-fearing person like I am. I believe that he believed that he was the king of Babylon. He's the king. And nobody can tell him, say, he's not the king. So you have to take order from the king. So I believe that he could call upon God for anything because he was the king. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And you know, I read a scripture earlier, um, 2 Chronicles um, 7, verse 14. You know, you know, sometimes the knowledge, as I mentioned earlier, that we got, there always greater knowledge in Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mish and continuing, Meshach and Abednego. Ye servant of the Most High God, come forth and come hither. Then, Shad then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth. 
into the midst of the fire. And the prince, princes and governors and captains and the co king's counselors being gathered together saw these men upon whose body the fire had no power. Jesus. Hallelujah. Remember, you know, sir, P. Remember, you have some of the gods that just a little heat of the fire killed them. And they were, they were in the fire. Hallelujah. And that if I hear at the coat of them, were scorch, nor snitch, nothing happened to them. Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Neither were their coats changed, nor the smell of fire had passed on them. Then Nebuchadnezzar spoke and said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who had sent his angel, hallelujah, and deliver his servant that trust in him and change the king's word and heal their bodies that they might not serve nor worship any God. There's only one God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Remember, sir, we're talking about a king. How can a king just go be an him word? Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Therefore, I make a decree that every people, remember, this is a king talking to his people, you know, you know. The man who did I say when you hear this song of this, the symbol and the, the, the any music of a bow down and worship his image. This is a man telling you know that there's only one God. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Just when God are moving in your life, just when God ready to promote you, just continue to be, to be humble. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Therefore, just going over back. Therefore, I make a decree that every people, nation, language, which speak anything amiss. Now, amiss here would mean anything that is bad or cruel against Jesus Christ. You hear what, you hear what Nebuchadnezzar said he would do to his people? He shall cut them into pieces and their hosts shall be made of dungeon. Oh God. Hallelujah. You ever put one barrel of clothes down one hill or you ever put one tire down a hill and roll it and see how fast it go? Hallelujah. Because there is no other God that can deliver after this sight. Hallelujah. 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 Then the king promoted Meshach, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the providence of Babylon. Hallelujah. That is God's word. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Help me, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. No sense. Five years ago, I got baptized. Let me say, no man, you see when God is moving in your life. And I say, God, what make me never give my life a long time to you? Because if I five years I've been baptized in Jesus' name, filled with the Holy Spirit. And I um, actually can stand here and can allow God to use me. What if I was baptized during 1 to 30 years? What would happen? My God. Hallelujah. And I remember, saints of God, I just got baptized and was filled with the Holy Spirit. But when I got filled, when I baptized and filled with the Holy Spirit, it doesn't mean that all your doings will just change or you will just turn right away. It's like a baby taking breast milk from her, his or her mother. So you know you have to take time and feed that child in order for that child to be mature. I may tell you the saints of God, when I be, 
became a Christian, a child of God. That's when I realized the amount of temptation, the amount of things that had happened. I mean, I say, no, man. When I was out there, so much something didn't really happen. Like, you know, Mr. start fear some, some child and some tribulation. And I said, no, man, this can't happen. And I start buying it up. I start, because I know I start, no, how to pray, you know. I can see God and I feel with the Holy Spirit. So I allow the Holy Spirit to speak to me, to lead me. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. And you know, I remember a particular night. Now I'm getting about two months from now, I was getting married. So I, I happily engaged and, you know, start the counseling and everything. You know, I was excited. We were excited to get married. So two years, Brother Monty. I was getting married. And I remember at work, somebody, remember the same weed me I run from, you know? Because I don't want to go back, go do no weed. And I remember I, I was at work and there was one of the co worker birthday and he got a weed cake. I don't know if you don't know any name, brownie or weed cake. Now, I see the man cut one little slice, sir, pea. One little piece. And give me and I say, a strong man, so you know, be careful. Me take the knife from the man, sir. And cut off a peg. Because me I say, you can't give me this a little piece of cake. Sister P, I first may I eat it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Me take off a peg. Me couldn't have done a peg. I remember I, I, I rode my bike and I got home. Remember, you know. I got home and I say, I just feel different. I feel like I float. I feel all type of different way. And I say, God, what happened to me? Remember, you know, I two months left for me to get married. And like something I say to me, no woman not married, no, ma no, no madman. Because I know say, this would have mad whole heap of people. And that, that mess up the whole of my brain. And I say, no man. And I went to the doctor and the doctor told me that I must go home and, you know, flush my system, get some water and flush my system. Until that day, until now, I never have another peace. Praise God. But you know, sometimes, you see what you love of this world, even though you're a Christian, the devil try to use it against you. And if you are not strong, and if you don't have the Holy Spirit, and if you're not strong, you will mess up. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, another one where my wife and I, we were, you know, trying to have a child or a children. <laughs> Praise God. You know, say, them times I'm a pack with the Holy Spirit and no, I am a child of God. We were a child, children of, G of Jesus Christ. So my wife and I, we would pray and fast. We are finding refuge in God now, you know. We pray and we fast and we say, God, just bless us with a child. The moment a child with child, may I say, man, look like something happened to me. You look like something wrong with me. What make nothing can happen? But our timing is not God timing. And we keep praying and we keep pressing and we, we ask a prayer and we fast about it. And nothing now happened till she finally got pregnant. Praise God. But when she got pregnant, I realized that something was wrong. We do an ultrasound and we realized that it was twin. And may I say, boy, we were so happy. But further down, we realized that the, the, the children, they were developing. And may I say, God, why you bless us with these children and then something will go wrong again? You know? Answer P. She started to, you know, bleed more than ever. And we realized there's something wrong. When we go back to the hospital, praise God, and do an ultrasound, the, the, the doctor said that the, 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 her body would fight against the children because they weren't developing. But in everything, we have to give thanks. Because I, 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 we were saying to each other that, you know, maybe if these children were, you know, they came, Maybe one of them would have been 
then with a deform or something would have wrong with them. And we keep praying and praying and we say, God, why, if it's your will, let it be done. Whatever it is, we put our trust in you. And when I think about nothing, and, you know, it, it would rest on our heart that we still need a child. And saints of God, look at Nathan at the back. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And God have blessed us with a child. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, saints of God, it doesn't matter what we would face or what we're going through, whether you are Christian or not. God is saying that just come and see the goodness of God because he will deliver you no matter what. And if we find refuge in him, he will deliver us. So even though we have this pandemic going on and we are so confused and fearful and everything. Just believe that there is a God. Hallelujah. Praise God. These are the words that God has rest on my heart. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Sister Francis, to us in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Can we just lift our hands and thank the Lord? Praise God for the word. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a testimony. Hallelujah. 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 What a testimony. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Praise God. I'm going to ask you to stand in the house right now. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. The word has been gone forth, right? God. Praise God right now. And we know that God is able. Praise God. If he can do for Brother Coke, Praise God. He can do the same for you. Praise God. Praise God. And we are living in testing times right now. Praise God. All different types of challenges. But you heard that God is still on the job. God is still in the business of delivering his people. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. If God delivered Hallelujah. The three Hebrew boys out of the fiery furnace. Praise God. What else God can't do? My father was diagnosed with COVID. I don't know where he got it from. Nobody at the house had the, the virus. But he was in the hospital and he came back out. So probably he got it there. And saints of God, it's a miracle. My father is 87 and he was in the hospital for about four days with no symptoms at all. Listen now, 87 year old, no, no symptoms at all. And people younger than my father just got the virus and died. So I know that God is still on the job. My God, hallelujah, hallelujah. And when I look, praise God, and I heard the brother's testimony, I say, my God, mm. people still have faith. So, you know, faith is belief and confidence, hallelujah, in something that you know is reliable to keep you. So if I sit on that chair, I have faith that the chair will hold me up. So if I believe in God, hallelujah, I believe that the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego has the ability. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because we, we, there is nothing that we are going to put in the hand of God and he is going to allow it to fall through. Because you see, God is a God of action. So when you think about Elijah and Elisha, you think about a God that is able to move by the power of his might. 
Praise God. Praise God. So we talk about this God today. The brother testified. Praise God. Praise God. And I was there listening. I said, my God, what a story. It's a, yeah, you could write a book. Praise God. Uh, so that is what we want, saints of God. We want people to know that God still is. And that he is a rewarder to them that diligently seek, hallelujah, him. So it behoves us today, hallelujah, hallelujah, glory to God, for us to trust in the Lord, hallelujah, in the power of his might, hallelujah. Lean not unto our own understanding, hallelujah, in all our ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct our path. Praise God. You know, although the virus is rampant, persons are dying. And when you look at a man of God just die, you have to say, Lord, I wonder where is God? But remember that God does things according to his will and his purpose. You know, our ways are not God's ways. And what God allows to happen, he has his purpose to be fulfilled. Praise God. And sometimes when you have run the race and your time is up, your time is just up. Yeah. So there is nothing else that we can do to remain on this earth when the time is just over. So remember, all of us have an assignment. We have an assignment. And those who are online, praise God. We all have an assignment. And when the time comes, Praise God. Hallelujah. After we are on the earth for a long time, when the time comes, that's the time when God is going to say, okay, well done. Good and faithful servant. God is not going to allow us to leave an unfinished task. Praise God. So we're going to work the work of him that sent us until our time is over. Praise God. So don't be this way. Praise God. So it behoves us, praise God, to understand the season that we are in. And to and respond, respond accordingly. Praise God. Understand the season when God is knocking at your door. God is knocking at your door. God is saying, come. Hallelujah. Come home. All who are weary. Come home. There is nothing in this world that can satisfy anybody, any one of us. Praise God. When you look to the left, the right, everywhere in the world, trouble. Shaka Shaka. Trouble. Trouble. Hallelujah. Every kind of trouble. Run for your life. Hallelujah. For God is a refuge. And our God said, take my yoke. It's easy. And my burdens is, they are light. My God, I'm sure today. You might say, I don't understand why God don't force me to be saved. No. God is there knocking the still small voices. Come, 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 come. 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 Shh. Hallelujah. And those who have an ear to hear. Because there is going to be a time where you want to hear or you can't hear. You want to move or you can't move. You want to run or you can't run. Hallelujah. Just make use of the time I'm talking to somebody today. Hallelujah. Seek the Lord where, while he can be found. Call up on him while he is near. Come home. Come home. He who are weary, come Tenderly, Jesus. 
Jesus is calling. Oh, calling. Oh, sinner, come home. Oh, come home. God is calling today. Come home. We're gonna close. Hallelujah. If you have heard the words of God, praise God. And you are ready, you are willing to turn. Wherever you are, whether you're online or in the sanctuary, it's your decision. God is willing and capable. Hallelujah. Of coming through for you, hallelujah. If you are sick in the hospital, you may be watching us at this time, hallelujah. If you are in your house, hallelujah, feeling depressed and down, we have a kind and a compassionate God who is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance, hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Oh, somebody worship him. Oh, I should have fallen my soul. Cast away. Oh, yes. For mercy. We wrote my life. Praise God, Spirit of the Living God. Can we just lift our hands, hallelujah, wherever we are. Spirit of the Living God, Shama. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Intervene right now, hallelujah. Hallelujah, move in your power. And move in your might upon the hearts of your people. Mighty God, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Oh, the living God, full of grace Praise God. If you're here and you want us to pray for you, praise God. Just raise your hand where you are. Praise God. We are going to stretch our hands towards our beloved sister over there. Hallelujah. You know our, God, you know our needs, you know our thoughts, you know what is happening in our life. Praise God. We want to stretch our hands towards her. And if you're online and you need prayer, the contact information, I believe, is available. You may call us if you want to be baptized. You may call us. The number is there on the screen. Praise God. You may call us and let us know we are willing and we are able to lead you. Praise God to the, the man of God, Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. There is no other God. But
but this true and living God, the God, hallelujah, who never fails. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray at this time. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Everybody lift your, your, your faith to God. Lift your hands to God. Stretch towards our beloved. Praise God. And those online, we're going to pray right now, right now by faith in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Jesus, hallelujah. Praise God, hallelujah. Mm, there's a sweet presence of the Lord in this house today. In the name of Jesus, the Spirit of God is moving. Moving, seeking for a heart. Hallelujah. To draw. Spirit of God is seeking for a soul to draw. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 If we just lift up our faith and the Spirit of God will draw. If we just lift up our faith and the Spirit of God will draw. Hallelujah. He said, If I be lifted up, then he'll draw a man unto him. Hallelujah. Spirit of God is drawing today. I feel a tug on the line. Hallelujah. Somebody is surrendering to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, Hallelujah, We go with Hallelujah. In the name of Yamasha. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mighty God, let us pray. Shiruma Santa. Hallelujah. Praise God. Father God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We come to you for you are the giver of life. You are the only potentate. You are the lamp of sinners slain. Lord, we bow before you, oh God. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh upon this country. Fall afresh upon your daughter and your sons. Lord God and your people, hallelujah, that you have created in your likeness and in your image. Spirit of the living God, draw your people. Oh God, we lift you up today. Oh God, somebody is crying out for help. Hallelujah. On their beds, in their homes. Lord God, cry out for help. Oh God, for this poor man cried and the Lord heard him and delivered him out of his trouble. We cry out for help. Help, hallelujah. Oh God, for you are the help in ages past. You are the hope of years to come. Father God, unleash your powerful angels today. Oh God, with flaming swords. Oh God, and bring about deliverance to your people. Bring about a refresh, oh God. A refreshing, almighty oh God. Bring about, oh God, a peace that passes is all understanding. Lord God, we pray for our deliverance. Oh God, the hand and the spirit of God has the power to save, has the power to deliver. Oh God, we pray, Lord, that people will be saved. It is not your will that we, anybody, should perish. Oh God, it is not your will for anyone to die with Without Christ, we pray, oh God, we beseech you, oh God, that you will set you, hallelujah, your sons and your daughters free, that you will bring about a peace.
peace. Bring about healing. Those who are sick in their bodies. Those who are depressed. Those, oh God, who are feeling hopeless. We pray, mighty God, that you will bring and restore peace. Restore this blessed assurance that you are still capable. You are still able to deliver. Lord God, and you are still in the delivering business. Oh God, are you a God who never fails? You never change. Hallelujah. You are the same today and forevermore. Lord, we lift our faith to you this afternoon. We ask you, oh God, for mercy. Heal our bodies. Heal our lands. Protect us, oh God Almighty. Oh God, from the pestilence that walk it. Oh God, and the hand of the enemy. Oh God, deliver us, we pray, oh God, today. Lord, let your will be done in our lives. Lord God, go forth, oh God, in your power. Lord God, we still believe in you. Lord, though it seems as if you are not doing anything, some persons are, are hopeless and their, their, their hearts are failing for fear, with fear, oh God, and discontent. But we pray in the name name of Jesus, that you will continue, oh God, to encourage us, our, encourage our spirit, lift up our faith, lift up our bodies to, to you, oh God, oh God, in you we live and we move, we pray, oh God, that you will continue to refresh us, oh God, with your blood, save, oh God, even this young lady right here, save and deliver her right now, Lord, you know her need, you know, hallelujah, her desire, we pray for her family, we pray for her coverage, we pray that you touch her heart. We pray that you save her from the wrath to come. Save her, oh God Almighty, from the workers of iniquity. Save her, oh God, from her enemies. Touch her heart, Lord God, that she will come unto repentance. Oh God Almighty, oh God, for you need us to repent from our sins and turn from our ways. And you will hear from heaven and you will deliver us and you will heal our land. Hallelujah. Here is our cup, Lord. Here is our cup, Lord. We lift it up, Lord. Oh God, quench our desire and our thirst for you, oh God. We hunger and we thirst for you, of our righteousness. Oh God, for you are ever faithful and just. Lord, bless this congregation. Bless our leaders. Lord God, we pray, Lord, that you'll give them the wisdom and the courage to stand. Lord, in these difficult times, Lord God, when sometimes we don't know how to do the things that we ought to do. But oh God, you said you are capable and you're able Lord God, to direct us, direct us into all truth. Oh God, we pray for your direction and your leading. Lord God, I pray in the name of Jesus. Oh God, that you continue to save. Oh God, continue to draw people. Lord God, as we continue to lift you up by faith this afternoon, as we continue, oh God, to obey your commandments. Oh God, your precepts. Lord God, and to stand on your promises, oh God, for they are sure of your own divine sweet way in our lives. Go before us, this man to the plans of the enemy, oh God, for the enemy is like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. But go before us and direct the way, oh God, lead our path, Lord God Almighty, for the enemy is mad, oh God, but he has no power. Oh God, for you have given us Give, you have given us the authority through the power of the Holy Ghost. We are your ambassadors. We are your representative. Oh God Almighty. And we are the light of the world. We are the salt of the earth. Oh God, empower us with your power. Lord, give us a fresh anointing, oh God. Lord, that you keep us along our way. Go before us and direct our path.
God. Provide for us, oh God. You said you, we should take no thought of what we shall eat or drink. For the Lord knows our needs and you will supply our needs according to the riches in glory. Oh God, Jesus, you are a provider. Lord God, we depend upon you, oh God, for you are our source. Have your own sin. sweet divine way. Hallelujah. We give you the praise and we give you the glory. Praise God. Hallelujah. We give you the thanks. Praise God. Hallelujah. Can the church say thank you, Jesus? Thank you, thank you Jesus. Jesus. Can the church say thank you, Jesus? Thank you, Can the church say hallelujah? Hallelujah. hallelujah? hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. Praise God. Praise God. Praise. May the saving grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ rest, remain, and abide with us now and forevermore. God bless you. Go in peace in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise Thank God. You, Jesus. Praise the Lord. I know the blood prevent the blood of the risen lamb. Power, Power to, to save, save. just like the old and death of blood. Prevent no matter what others say. Thank God the blood prevent. I know the blood prevent. Power to save, just a 